It's so fascinating to me because music, you know, there is no straight line and there's a hundred different no. ways to make a, a career happen in the new music business. And uh, I'm curious, how did you approach um, kind of running your music career alongside your acting career uh, when acting like did did those battles happen with you or were you like man there isn't there a straight line like do i get an agent for music like how does that like you know how did you learn to do all that okay definitely like all <laughs> these things you're bringing up are like conver well first of all i would say for the actor it probably doesn't feel like what you're i know what you're saying and that has actually helped me so much it being like okay well you go and you get the job and even if the show sucks you still get paid for your time it's sort of yeah. like you can you can sort of and there's also an actor's union. So there's sort of rules that you sort of, you get used to, you know, mm -hmm. um, certain things like um, as far as like what you're going to get paid and stuff, there's at least like that level thing. Sure. Um, what you're going to pay your agents. Like that was one thing in music that was so confusing to me because with acting, it was always the same, 10%. Right. And then with music, you know, you have managers who are like, I take 50%, but I put money <laughs> into your career. I, you know, right. I definitely know ones that do that. Um, oh God, so, run away from the managers but that I say they take 50%. No, <laughs> I know ones who have done that, but I, no. but like, but here's the thing, like for, when I started doing music, I think I was just so excited to, I feel like discovering writing songs was really exciting for me. And because there is this structure with acting, you also spend a lot of time waiting around, right? Mm. You're, you're on set, you're waiting till it's your turn sometimes all day, you know? Sure. And then auditions, you do the auditions and so many people are like, did you get it? It's like, I don't know. When are they going to let you know? <laughs> <Right>. I don't know. <laughs> right, right. Like I've literally gone to auditions and then like months later be like, you know that thing you auditioned for like months ago, you got it or you know oh what I like. Gosh, right, so yeah. you kind of have to like let it go a little bit. <laughs> Sure. But in that interim, mm -hmm. I wanted to be creative and have some kind of, I f it makes you feel like you don't have control over your career mm, because yes. you're always waiting for someone to say, it's your turn. Yes. Um, so for me in that way, music was fun because I could, once I started writing songs and that was all really exciting, I could call up Rockwood. I remember my friend Simon who was like, oh, you, I, you need to meet this guy, you know, yeah. this guy, I'll email him. You could, you should do a show at Rockwood, you know? Yeah. And, um, I could set up a show and perform and it was fun, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But once I got past that, you're right. As it started to become more of a job or more of something I was, t a career, yeah. I was very confused and I was so used to the acting way of there being these standards yes. that I was like, wait, this person said this, this manager takes 20%. I didn't know right. that was, and they're like, it's standard. I'm like, is it standard? Right. <laughs> is, I don't know. Like, like where the, you know, there's no, and then it was like, oh, every, you need to play, pay this for publicity. Oh, but this place it's only like 500 bucks a month for people you know like what's right. the right thing to do and I was constantly right. I would say the first bit of putting out music I was constantly trying to be like I was so used to gatekeepers in acting mm. you know and there is a little bit of yes. that in the music industry but it can also be like not like you can also right. you know I know you had the the guy from Patreon on your thing. You know, you could yeah, also, yeah. you could just start an online business and sell your music and be like, Spotify, I don't want you to have my music.